You guys would not believe that I was today's years old when I realized that there's SPF clothing lines. welcome and welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Zikan and I film videos like this one I help women and men of course get to their highest glow potential so to this end I film skincare videos also wellness videos beauty videos and sometimes lifestyle content so if that is something that you would be interested in please make sure that you subscribed and that your notification bell is turned on for whenever I post a video in today's video we are going to be discussing how to even out your skin tone with just two products and these two products that i'm going to be discussing today are not necessarily products they are treatment ingredients so with just these two treatment ingredients you can even out your skin tone so now how are we going to achieve an even tone from head to toe um first we have to attack the cause of the problem why our skin is uneven and in most cases when you're dealing with uneven skin tone that would mean that you're dealing with hyperpigmentation and i'm sure we all know what hyperpigmentation is but for the people at the back that might not know hyperpigmentation is not necessarily a skin condition but it is a term that is used to describe skin that is darker that would mean that the skin in a certain area of your body appears to be darker than other areas of your body now there is different types of hyperpigmentation there is melasma and this is largely believed to be hormonal it could appear on different parts of the body but prominently on the stomach and on the face now for melasma it could cover a large area or a little portion but it just really depends on how it decides to show up and we cannot control this thing another type of hyperpigmentation is called sunspots and like the name suggests mostly caused by the you know harshness of the sun sunspots um, appear as spots on the skin and this would be on areas that are excessively exposed to the sun usually would be the face and the hands and now the other type of hyperpigmentation is post inflammatory hyperpigmentation this could be as a result of injury or inflammation on the skin and inflammation are things like acne and pimples on the skin once you're done treating the acne the next thing that you would have to target will be the acne scars or spots as you may call it this happens because once you get pimples or acne on your skin this is a form of inflammation on the skin your skin gets into repair mode so the signal is for your skin to send lots of skin cells to that area to heal that area what then happens is that the cells pumped to that area could be highly rich in melanin which would then end up leaving some acne spots on your skin I'm sure you get what I mean by now and another thing that can cause hyperpigmentation on the skin is when your skin is rough and dry that would mean that you're not moisturizing properly or you're not hydrating properly and also you are not exfoliating but we are going to get into that shortly so in this video we're talking about how to um, you know even out our skin tone from head to toe right so in this video I'll greatly be talking about the body there'll be another video that we would have to talk about the face because when targeting hyperpigmentation there's different approaches between the face and the body because our skin on the face and body is not the same so I'm going to do an entire video for the face but this one let us concentrate on evening out our body from head to toe so now we are covering areas like underarms bikini area also the butts or any area of your body that is suffering from hyperpigmentation now before we get into the two products that we are going to use I have to talk on the things that you would greatly need to consider when dealing or when targeting or when treating hyperpigmentation first of all that would be moisturizing you have to make sure that you're constantly moisturized or that area at least is constantly and richly moisturized look for a lotion a body butter whatever you need to use to moisturize that area properly i mean i've recommended a lot of good products on this channel so you can always refer to any of my videos to get you a good recommendation as to what you can use on your skin so yeah making sure that you moisturize properly is one of the best things that you can do if you are struggling with hyperpigmentation once the skin around that area is dry or rough 
then you are giving that skin a reason to you know keep overcompensating itself thereby pushing that melanated cells to that area or rather cells that richly contain melanin pushing it to those areas which will then intensify the darkening of that area so you want to make sure that you're moisturized so that you don't give your skin the chance to overcompensate in moisture the next thing you want to consider is hydrating i know i've already spoken about moisturization and now you're wondering what she's talking about hydrating and that would mean from the inside out make sure you're drinking enough water we need water to survive our skin cells need water um, as cliche as it sounds drinking water would greatly help with the health of your skin so make sure that you're constantly hydrated from the inside to help your skin on the outside as well now the next thing i want to talk about is considering exfoliation exfoliation is so important if you're treating hyperpigmentation now there are two types of exfoliation chemical exfoliation and physical exfoliation now chemical exfoliation is when you use acids so now this acid they get in there and they do the work of exfoliating for you and there's also physical exfoliation where you use salt scrubs sugar scrubs apricot scrubs or any form of physical exfoliant like that in that nature in that category to manually exfoliate yourself so i like to group this into two categories i call physical exfoliation manual exfoliation which means you do it yourself and i call physical exfoliation automatic exfoliation which would mean that the product does the job for you but whichever way make sure you get into the habit of exfoliation because that is what will take away that dead skin cells from that area now to the next thing that i need you to consider when dealing with hyperpigmentation on any area of your body as long as you're treating that area when you're outside under the sun make sure that you are protected with spf if you guys have been taking all my advice and the people that have been taking my advice on this they've been seeing great results on their skin and i've been getting the reviews please make sure you use sunscreen there is no skincare without sunscreen especially during the day the sun does a lot of damage to the hard work that we do in skincare so if you're not protecting your skin with sunscreen you're on a long thing like the results will not be resulting <laughs> so please make sure that you're protected with sunscreen once you're outside and even if you're not outside if you're inside and then you're largely exposed to the sun or in a way the sun rays are getting into your apartment you want to make sure that you are protected with sunscreen during the sunny hours of the day you guys would not believe that i was today's years old when i realized that there's spf clothing lines like they are literally clothing lines that have spf infused in them i think it's a technology or something but i'm still reading on that i'm still researching that but then there is clothing lines that actually protect you from the sun next level i was so wowed i was like wow we are really like very so I, I don't even know what's going to be happening in the beauty industry and it, but okay you know what we're talking about hyperpigmentation so moving on now moving on to the treatments for these areas of our body where our skin cells has produced too much melanin it could be areas like the hands the knees the elbows the butt bikini areas or any dark patch on your body now what do we need as treatments for this in this video i'm going to be recommending two gold standard treatments for this and there is no two ways about this that this will not work Work on your skin and that is a tretinoin treatment and also a hydroquinone treatment now the ones that i'm talking about i am going to have them linked in the description bar so you would know the one to get i'm not talking about getting bleaching creams that contain hydroquinone or you know all of that i'm talking about getting the treatment itself they come in a tube so you can basically use the both of them together to treat now over to how you're going to use these two treatments to treat this hyperpigmented area now what you want to do is of course get into the shower do your normal wash and clean routine make sure that you're clean and you know feeling fresh and nice now before we move forward i want you to consider this treatment for night time please do not use this treatment during the day even if you're going to use sunscreen concentrate on using this treatment only at night because i just really would advise that you are away from the effect of the sun while you are using these two products on your skin why because they are 
are strong they are two strong products and can make your skin very very prone to the damage of the sun more than it has ever been so apart from using your sunscreen during the day you must use sunscreen during the day even if you're doing this treatment at night please keep this treatment to night time that is the only way i would guarantee you results in this treatment so after you've gotten out of the shower you've cleansed properly with probably your regular shower gel or your you know shower bar whatever you use the next thing that you want to do is of course moisturize your skin we spoke on moisturization already um, get into your skin with a good rich moisturizer you know that does the job in keeping you moisturized and i'm emphasizing that for great reasons next thing you want to do is follow up with a body oil if you're someone that likes beauty oils then of course follow up with your beauty oil but check to see that these products are mild products any products that you're using in this routine for the rest of your body is going to be a mild product nothing with any active nothing with any exfoliant nothing with any you know strong active like that because what's going to be working on your skin would be these two active now so you don't want um you know products or you don't want ingredients to sort of clash so keep every other thing moderate and simple use a regular moisturizing lotion use your regular you know body oil if you have any that you use i've recommended a lot on this channel the next thing you want to do is those areas that are hyper pigmented you want to go on ahead to take your tretinoin treatment and your hydroquinone treatment take a pea sized amount into your palm rub them together together and then apply them in those areas now once you're done applying but do take your time to rub in the products well in those areas if it is your elbows if it is your bum bum wherever it is if it is your underarm wherever it is make sure that you rub it in properly that is also where the trick is if this product don't get into your skin you know you probably just rub it off when you lay on the bed and the product is gone and you're not getting results so take your time to get this product into your skin i mean we're doing beauty here beauty is serious business so you have to take your time Beauty is time, is money, is pain, is a lot of things and you have to invest in it. Anyways, it doesn't have to be a hectic process but just make sure that you enjoy the process but do the right thing while enjoying the process. I mean, skincare sometimes looks like it's a tedious thing to do but if you get into the habit of enjoying the process, it's actually very therapeutic, it's very sweet. Sometimes it's a chore for me as well for someone that does skincare all the time but I have gotten into the habit of enjoying the process of my skincare regimen and now I absolutely love it I feel like I'm becoming even more vain just enjoying the therapeutic moment of taking care of my skin but that's not why we're here today get into the habit of you know putting the products properly and making sure that your skin actually absorbs it before you go on ahead to do any other thing and once you're done with this application that's pretty much the treatment now why are we using these two treatments hydroquinone first is the gold standard lightening ingredients the fact that we do other jobs with it in the part of the world where we come from by using it you know bleach 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 does not mean that it is a bad ingredient it is actually an ingredient that was meant to target hyperpigmentation and you know what we're talking about today even in out your skin tone so why we're using hydroquinone here is that in a treatment like this we certainly need something to lighten i mean there are other ingredients but this is the gold standard if you want to see even faster results in this process and why are we using tretinoin tretinoin is a great cell tone over um ingredients that helps with that so you're trying to hasten the process of your skin cells turning over so you can get rid of the hyperpigmentation so you can get rid of those skin cells that is in that area at the moment so this is where tretinoin comes in so now can you see why i chose these two ingredients for this routine putting these two ingredients together what happens is that the hydroquinone there is lightening the skin or the area of the skin there and the tretinoin is hastening the cell turnover of the skin there and that is why you would see quicker results with using these two treatments on your skin now you might want to ask is it okay to use tretinoin and hydroquinone yes it is safe to use tretinoin and hydroquinone now i'm not necessarily supposed to be sharing this information like this this is something you're supposed to use under a doctor's guidance but i'm sharing it with you like this because if you follow it the way i am saying it without going to do over because most times when i share videos like this or when people get information like this they want you know whitening 
getting faster results and before you know they are destroying things for themselves please i'm not the one that sent you to go and do that to yourself please just follow it like i'm saying what we are trying to do here is get the best out of our skincare regimen and not cause more problems for ourselves so please if you take my advice just the way i have said it and also with a grain of salt also do your own research see if these ingredients work for you you can always check in with your doctor your dermatologist as well if you have one also you might ask me so if we're doing this routine during the night what do we do during the daytime you want to apply a regular lotion during the day on your body or i could even advise that you use like a vitamin c lotion it is great it's a great antioxidant you know for protecting your skin against free radicals and you know all of the pollution out there in the environment but during the daytime even if you're using your regular lotions you could still use the same lotion you were using in your night routine um but for the night routine please do not use the vitamin c lotion don't meddle with the vitamin c lotion at night just use a regular lotion with this treatment at night but in the daytime you're free to use vitamin c but now even if you're using the vitamin c lotion or the same lotion that you use uh, at night like a regular lotion it could be the avino oats lotion that i've shared on this channel you could use that but make sure that you use sunscreen during the day this whole thing that i've spoken about today if you do not protect it with sunscreen during the day please do not come for me because i'm not sure you're going to be getting the results you'll be expecting and even if you do get results once you go out on the sun the sun is going to destroy that result for you and you'll be back to square one so please make sure you get a good sunscreen and also you know support this process with that and for sunscreens i have recommended some on this channel i also have some linked in the description box so please definitely check that out but yeah that's pretty much it if you're evening out your skin tone this is all the information that you need to know if you follow this in a month or two you will be back to this channel chanting decan decan thank you for what you've done and yeah that's pretty much all i want i want your happiness i want you to glow i want you to look good i want you to be happy with yourself this is my own way of giving to you people even when we've not physically met i don't know i feel better feeling like a woman out there is happier with herself with the information that i'm providing i don't know how that satisfies me but it does so yeah that's pretty much it for this video today if you do have any questions you can drop them in the comment section and i will do well to get to that if you want to contribute anything to this video you can as well let us know in the comment section or you just want me to know that you were here today please drop some love hearts in the comment section for me and i'll do well to respond also remember to check the description box for the links and some of the links i'm not affiliated to and some i am it really depends but i do get a tiny bit of a commission nothing too serious but it's a way of supporting me if you will <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video today and as usual i wish you a beautiful perfect and luscious skin and i'll see you in my next one Mwah.